Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you guys about e Ethernet. I've been asked this question many times. What is Ethernet? Which keyboard do I use? And the basics about it. So Ethernet is a wire that, that transfers internet data over a cable. I'm going to show you guys an example right now. A picture here. Just kind, of, just kind of show what they look like. So there's two main ways to get internet to a device. Wi-Fi and Ethernet. Wi-Fi is obviously slower than Ethernet, obviously not as reliable, but you can use both. So here's what Ethernet looks like. You have the end and the cord right there. So there's a the cord, here's the end. And you have little cables that come out and attach to prongs. That when you plug one end into the computer just like that, and the other end into your Wi-Fi router or USB or um, net network hub. So just, just, just like right there, that is what they look like. So there's three main types. So there's Cat5, Cat5e, and Cat6. Cat5e has a maximum transfer speed of 10 megabytes per second. For most internet, that will slow it down. Cat 5e is 100 megabits per second. Most modern day internet speeds are less than that, so you get Cat 5e hubs, Cat 5e cables, Cat 5e, you should be fine. Cat 6 is a new basis, which is gigabit ethernet, so 1,000 gigabits per second. And the only way you can take advantage of that great speed is if you have, say, Google Fiber, which has that gigabit speed. So for most people, Cat 5e should do that and should have enough speed and enough length to be able to do that. And I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk about Ethernet, Ethernet lengths now. How much data you can, how much, how long can you transfer data? So let's look it up on, um, let's see here. Here we go. So yeah, here's 10 basically 10 megabits per second. 10 megabytes per second. So, so what it says right here is 100 meters for Cat5. So 100 meters, Cat5e is 100 meters. I'm guessing Cat6 is not as much. Let's go here, see, let's go here. So yeah, Cat5 is 100 meters, Cat5. 5e is 100 meters and cat 6 is 100 meters. So 100 meters, you can have that cable that it will efficiently transfer speed and efficient speed. When you are transferring data at, at long lengths, it does lose speed. So just be aware of that. Longer cables mean less speeds and more time for the data to be sent and come back. So guess if any questions about anything I've said today, drop a comment down below or you can go on my website at www.techreviewer.ca and fill out the form on there to contact me. Like this video if you liked it. If you want to suggest any other computer tech tips, anything like that, any computer hardware, let me know. And subscribe if you, got, if you aren't already subscribed. I have a lot more videos coming down the tube for you guys, so please stay tuned. Like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys, and have a wonderful day.